Woo! Crazy Chef, big vibe. You've seen it on your screen. You've seen it for the first time. You've seen my stuffed dumpling Jamaican style. What we say, Jamaica man. <laughs> yeah, so today we're trying this stuffed dumpling and it's delicious. It's creative and it's good for like a one pot family dinner. If you don't wanna bust out like some skills and you wanna just create a vibe and look like this is this is the vibe. Crazy chef. Big vibe. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make some brown stew chicken and you know the vibe. I'm gonna drop the link in the description below for my brown stew chicken. But we'll go over the ingredients. You need a little dry rub, a little chicken seasoning, onion powder, right? A little bit of browning, a little bit of salt and pepper. Mix that in with some dice up chicken thighs because you know chicken thighs are big right now. So you do that and then we're gonna put that in our hot saute pan we're gonna saute a little bit we're gonna cover we're gonna let it steam we're gonna let it brown we're gonna let it vibe and then we're gonna add our condiments and potatoes I'm gonna throw some carrot in there because I want my dumplings to look fantastic crazy chef big vibe if it's your first time here do a brother a favor and hit that red subscribe button support the channel hit that like button so what you gotta do first is you get a brown stew some chicken, put it to cool. If you don't wanna use brown stew chicken, use some ackee and saltfish. If you don't wanna use some ackee and saltfish, use some veggies. One dish. You can make it wherever you want, however you want, all right? So, that's how we make our brown stew chicken. Nothing fancy, nothing great. You wanna add some water and simmer. That's a vibe. Then you wanna put it to cool. After that, we're gonna work on our dumpling. To make dumpling, pretty simple. You need some water, you need some flour, you need a little bit of salt. We're not gonna put too much salt just cause we're gonna put our brown stew chicken in there and that's gonna add extra flavor to the dough. So that's why we're not putting too much salt. Just a little bit of salt. So we'll set this aside, let it cool, and we'll work on or dumplings. Crazy Chef, big vibe. I'm excited. If you're not excited, I'm excited. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting my flour in my bowl, right? I'm gonna add a little salt and I'm gonna use water. A little bit at a time, not too much, not too crazy. Reason being, right? You add a little bit and you work your dough. And if you don't know what dumpling is, it's kind of like a bread dough but no yeast no baking powder no rising agent kind of like pasta no eggs that's all it is when you make those Jamaican dumplings right so we're gonna make our dough what in, in, interested is or interesting or whatever the word is we're gonna roll our dough we're not gonna need them we're not gonna make actual dumplings with the palm of our hands we're gonna roll it with a rolling pin so I should have said in the beginning of the video you're gonna need a rolling pin. I'm excited. I've never been this excited about a recipe. I'm a very excited about this particular recipe because I've tried it. I've had it a couple times. <laughs> I've actually tried it more than a couple times. I've probably tried it 10 times. So the first couple of times I tried it, you know, it break, I rolled the dough too thin. Tried it again, I didn't tie it properly. And then I tried it again, and I tried it a couple times, but now I've worked it out, it's perfect, right? So let's get into the vibe. So we need our dough, you wanna make sure not too soft, not too hard, right? Perfect dough. And uh, see that? Just like that. So, as I said, you're gonna need a rolling pin. So you get your rolling pin, right? And you want to cut your dough, cut them a little big. I think one one of these dumplings is supposed to be good for each person. It's pretty hardy and it's pretty heavy, right? So I give you like a, a two inch cut, three long, so maybe like a four ounce piece if you want to measure. And then I roll it out, right? 
then I just roll it out with the rolling pin. I like to put a little flour on there just so my rolling pin doesn't stick. And you'll see how far these dumplings are rolled, right? As I said, very excited about this recipe, right? I've tested it more than five times. It's crazy. Like, I really put some love in this one, right? I put love in all of them, but this one, I thought about it, I checked on YouTube, there's no such thing, so I was really excited to make something that wasn't on the platform. Like, you wouldn't believe there's no such thing on there. I might be original on this one, right? So, stuffed Jamaican dumpling. Look at that. Look at those bad boys. So what I did was like, so this is the last time I did it, I realized that you needed something to tie. And I didn't want to tie it with meat cord or anything. I wanted to tie it with something edible. So thus, the green onion. And if you know me, green onion is my vibe. Like everything I do, I put green onion. I like green onions. So that's what I do. I took green onion and I blanched it. And when you blanch it, it doesn't break. Like you wouldn't believe it. When you blanch it, it becomes so hard it doesn't break. So that was the vibe for the ending of like, you know, what I was trying to do. So, crazy chef, <laughs> right here is where you hit that like button. If you make it thus far and you didn't hit the like button, right here is where you hit the like button. Because that's a vibe. That's a vibe right there with the green onion. But, we're not done yet. Now we gotta boil them again, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna, so this was another thing I discovered is, what you wanna do is, you wanna bring your water to a vigorous boil, right? So you bring your water to a vigorous boil, and I put a, a couple piece of pak choy in the bottom of the pan, right? Because you don't want the dough to sit on the pan. So you want to bring your water to a vigorous boil. And then you just put them in there. If you don't have the pak choy. First I put the pak choy. But for the video I didn't have it. So what you want to do is you want to wiggle them around a little bit. And then you want to turn the flame down and cover. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. So big vibe. You're going to see how beautiful these look when they come out. If you haven't hit that red subscribe button yet, you might want to do so because that's a vibe. If you haven't hit that like button yet, you definitely want to hit that like button now. So look at those bad boys. Doesn't that look delicious? Doesn't that look delicious? Say it. Hit the comment section and let me know before we even put a vibe on it those look good actually like you saying to yourself like those actually look delicious but we're not done yet so what I do is I take a little unsalted butter chopped up some scallion chops up some herbs so a little scallion little herbs and I put I put it in some melted butter and that's my sauce because you gotta remember there's already sauce in your dumpling and some of your water is gonna go inside not a lot and look at that look at that serving with a scotch bonnet like a real yard man <laughs> look at that scotch bonnet like a real yard man look at that see it's got that bad boy look inside come on come on man come on man why are you waiting so long, man? Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a vibe. That's a vibe. That's the tripe, man. And I said, reason why I'm so excited about this video is I looked and there's no video of a stuffed boiled dumpling on YouTube Jamaican style. I'm Jamaican style stuffed dumplings. Crazy chef, big vibe. 
like share subscribe